Hi Virgo, welcome to this Tower Love reading. My name's Sophia, welcome to this community. So Virgo, if you like my readings, I do additional readings in the Facebook group, so you can check it out on there. Also, everyone who's in this community um, do additional uh, readings in the Facebook group. So if you like me and a couple of others, you know, check that out. We also, you know, if you've got any questions, you can uh, write that in the Facebook write it down in the comments, you know, if you're new, you don't know where to start, although I'm going to do a video about that at the weekend, so people know where to start and stuff like that, um, yeah, everything's in the description box, but I still, there's still more to learn, I'm going to do a talk video at the weekend about the Twin Flame journey, and the, the shift of where the, 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 there's a change around, from October, October I'm not anyway so I'm going to be talking more about what's going on with the connection over the weekend all right so let's jump straight in whatever this is you manifested it with a magician card at the bottom of the deck so let's see what's going on here mm, what what does that mean what does that mean? It's a missing ending. Okay, so what I'm getting initially, then I jump into the cards, is something like your vis say you're visualizing your person and you know, but you're not thinking of the ending. Like with my person, I know that we're gonna be in Devon, right? And have a a nice cottage. Or something like that um at a barn or well he actually wants i can't remember storage units but anyway and i'm going to be growing my own plants and stuff and to make my own natural skin products hair products and vegetarian food right and he's going to be fucking around doing his own stuff i've got an end goal right well we, we've got an end goal but it doesn't matter because of that kind of came into my awareness before we discussed it there's something here that you're just floating half arsed. Oh, I'm a twin flame. That's it. Right? And I'm not saying, okay, and then, okay, well, now all you've got to do is think about the end goal. There's more to it. Right? But, and I think it's very important. Like I said, I'm not, I, then I'll jump into the cards. This is the initial energy. Um, what I'm feeling about that is to do with, like, when you put it down in practice, like, for example, if your end goal was, okay, we're going to have a house with a picket fence and two dogs and uh, spit out some kids and get married, maybe you'll start realizing, well, shit, how do I do that? Or oh, shit, I need to work on something. It's too up in the air is what I'm feeling. There's no groundedness to it. So that's why you're not making ac action steps. If you realize, well, yeah, well, obviously, if I want to marry this guy or this woman, I need to actually make some steps to actually start seeing them in the first place. Because it's all up in the air. I'm a twin flame. That's like someone saying, I want to be famous. Oh, yeah, what are you doing? Nothing. I just want to be famous. That's this. All right, the Tower, the Page of Pentacles, the King of Cups. So the Tower is... I thought there was arguments at home. When you lived at home for some reason. Now, I don't care if you're 60 years old and you're watching me. You say at home. There's something to do with arguments at home. And the tower is about that foundation needs to crumble because you're still holding on to that tie of whatever these arguments were at home. So they could have been arguing with you about your choices in life. Maybe you wanted to skip school. Whatever. That's still emotionally affecting you. It needs to crumble. The tower card is the first card universe is trying to tap into that so maybe you're getting triggered because the planets and the eclipse is all about emotions at the moment so you could be triggered with people arguing with you or or it's coming into your awareness or you're remembering that something like that page of pentacles is like like i said uh with the initial energy actually when i'm looking at these cards this is like yeah i want to marry my person settle down start again page of pentacles but it's like it's just in the imagination state. There's no groundedness to it. Because the King of Pentacles, you're just, I'm wishing to get married to my person, my twin flame, right? Because he's wishing and I'm like, well, yeah, I wish to go to, I'd love to go visit the planets. 
I love to go and visit Mars, Venus, all that. I don't even know. It's probably an impossibility. You see what I mean? In my lifetime, will I ever? No, I probably won't. I don't know what I'm kidding myself. And that's probably what this is like, right? Because now I'm starting to realize, I'm like, yeah, you know, one of these planets, Venus might be near to the sun and the sun is, will burn me up. I can't actually go there. But the actuality of me saying it, yeah, I'd love to go visit the planets, sounds great. But putting that, then how do I even get there? How much money is it? You know, do I need to go for all these, you know, um, six months training to go into an aircraft to go up there? This is this. Just imagining I'm a twin flame and la, 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 nothing happening. Nothing happening. The strength card, and this is like, uh, this is sexual abuse. Yeah, this is people arguing with you all day long. Look at these two cards. The tower, look at the dragon. It's false. Look, that looks like an argument here, right? And look at this. The lion roaring, right? This is arguments. And this is internal conflicts as well. And it's like, uh, could be sexual abuse or something like that. I th what I'm getting as well is that you told people or someone and they didn't believe you. It created an argument or you didn't tell anyone because you think it could create, would have created an argument. Which all needs to be worked out and aligned and all this within you because there's hidden anger and resentment inside from this upbringing with a strength card. You need to get the strength to work on that. Absolutely. Look, two strength cards here, which isn't really the strength, but it is. It's like, it's not showing the strength card because it's like, it's more of, well, it is the strength card, but it isn't. Mine is, this is the strength card, but I call it sexual energy. That's why I'm saying it's not. So sexual energy, like I said, having the strength to confront your sexual abuse. And I'm saying, look, look at the muscles on this one. And then fight for your twin flame in a different way of doing it instead of the... This is like, yeah, I've been listening to Sophia and I've got to do counselling, deal with my family, sexual abuse. You know what? I'll just keep it in the imagination state. What, you're just going to watch tarot till you're dead? So what are you going to do? Just keep watching tarot. But that's, that's up to you, isn't it? Right? It's up to you. But this is about getting the strength to strike, uh, to go fight for this twin flame. You see the flames? And work on yourself with the Aries at the top, right? Because Aries is the first, and um, um, so it's uh, it's um, going full the fool's journey. You're not doing anything. That's the initial energy, like I said. So your person is amazing, right? King of Cups, right? Very loving. You feel that love because you didn't have any when you was growing up, right? Most people don't, but you felt it more so, right? Okay. But they're surrounded by a third party situation, which is a nightmare, right? Which you can't get through. Five of Swords. Yeah, but they're working on, uh, they're, they're, they're very loving, but to you it's a nightmare. They're coming across very self. Oh, this is, I've got to do a talk video because I keep getting this. I keep getting, that there's two situations and it's come up here, so I'll, I'll mention it here. The twin flame contract, if you're not working on yourself, generally, um, when you're a twin flame, what happens is you find out that mission. Now, you watching me, you've been with soulmates, you've been with partners before, and you maybe, even if you haven't dated, but you generally you would have, even if you haven't, right, you've never heard a soulmate, right, someone else, a friend, a family member, talk to you about, listen, I need to go and do mission, right? My point is, it's particular for, for twin flames like Worker Star Seed, mission. It's your core essence. So if you're not doing any of that, then this person normally goes to a kind of karmic situation. And that person, right, for example, I would never get back with any of my exes. If, if you've had a relationship and it's done, you know it's done. You don't go back to exes. You twin flame all day long. You go back to them because it's it's not done because it's never done. It's, it's, it's not done. It's ne it never ends. It's an infinite. It goes like that, right, with the magician card here, with the infinite sign here, right? Whoops, yeah, right? 
So my point is, is about what I'm all getting here in this reading, so I hopefully I'll mention it at the weekend, is that because you refuse to do it, and it's your choice not to do the work, to work on yourself, to get into mission, which is who you truly are, and you're more of the 5D, which you, most people say they're spiritual, the, the feminines that are watching, I'm like, yeah, you are, but getting a Reiki, a, a, a doing buying a crystal from a shop, where you can get a pint of milk from a shop, is not mission. Going into a shop or booking someone online for Reiki is not mission, right? Right? You wouldn't, you know, soulmates don't say that, do they? My point is, so you know you're different. And if you choose not to do any of the work, inner work, proper healing, mission work, then what I'm getting, which I will do a talk video at the weekend, um, is that they're either going to change this tie that they get with this person to be a twin flame tie, or they're going to be uh, leaving this situation. But the reason why they keep getting pulled, to, why do they keep getting pulled to this toxic situation, to the 3D, to the third party all the time, when we don't? We don't keep going back to exes, do we? There's a reason for it. So that if you choose not to, so that, they, that turns into a more harmonious relationship so that they don't get left out in the cold because you choose not to do your part of the, the situation. And that's what I'm picking up with, the, um, with these cards. This nightmare situation with the third party, which is about selfish, you're, you're thinking your person's selfish because they've gone to a third party, will turn into more self-laughing because the universe will end it out. They'll end it to a new beginning. This, this will, not with you, this will be a new beginning. So either your person will move on to someone else and commit to someone else. Yeah, and I think it's going to be the third party. The Knight or King of Pentacles is someone else. Will commit to someone else. And you've manifested this because you haven't done the work. The Star Seed, that's you, hasn't worked on the Ten of Cups or the past life situation. How long do I have to keep going on, right? That's what's happening here. But let me get some clarification from upstairs. So this is about what you're manifesting and basically jack shit. What are you manifesting? Jack shit. Because what are you doing? Jack shit. So that's why I'm saying that I feel that, in short, your person will commit to the person that they will are with and it will come out of that toxic tie to be more harmonious. Because if you choose not to do your part, they won't keep their your person tied to a toxic situation. Because their part is so. Their part, part is the 3D. They don't have to do anything. They're already in their 3D. You have to learn to do the spiritual. Because you, you lot keep saying, oh, we're the 5D, we're 5D. Well, why aren't you doing 5D shit then? Buying something in a shop, right, like milk, is 3D. Let's get some um, additional advice from upstairs. death card twice so i said over here it will die with your person situation to rebirth into a, a a new situation with that person over there right but if yours dies your way how you doing it dies right you will rebirth and they both will die and then that's a possibility for this new path to start two of wands right and then you get your wish granted but your way has to die first. Not just your person's death of what they're doing with that third party. Your way. Then start a new path. Then wish granted. That's what the universe is uh, advising you. Yeah. If not, like I said, the initial first way. So let's close it out with these cards. Yep. <laughs> As I said, with the first two cards about argument, sexual abuse, abandonment, not telling people, we think it was an argument with you saying, think it will be an argument if you mention to your family about sexual abuse or something like that. This is about working on it to forgive, right? Forgiveness. You have not fully forgiven someone or even yourself. 
to forgive is releasing master program working on the family how to forgive them and then release all this kind of stuff you're not working on it i've got to get an angle because i don't know why it looks blurred doesn't it i don't know why where to put it so you can see the because where have i put it? it looks blurry i don't know anyway so let's close it out with how your person really thinks or feel your person's here the king of cups right man or woman doesn't matter right king of cups right they're very loving kind nurturing right that's how you fool them or that's who they that's their core of their being right could be some kind of drink in here as well i'm getting with you or that person at the moment they're they're not emotionally investing and they're like you know the hard shell so you talking to them they're probably like you know if you're talking to them at all they're not listening they're you know hard exterior to, hard to get through to them because you're you're hard like i said at this reading i'm like i'm hard to get through to this person here as well so i understand why you're it's a mirror I doubt this person is going to make any extra steps to complete it fully to do what I'm doing, what I've said to do. That's why your person's reflecting the same way. There is pain I've experienced, which I don't talk about. Like I said, there's sexual abuse and stuff from your past. That's what they're mirroring, which is what you need to know, right? So these answers from the hidden well realms are like what you need to know, really, right? Uh, that's probably why I didn't say, say it, because I normally say these ones are... Uh, what your person needs to uh, would tell you and I could have should have named it that but they're just answers from the hidden realm I want to love you but I don't know how these are all my cards if you want them they're on the website um, I find you so incredibly attractive and sexy it's intense now that's lovely but mm, that's about yeah getting the passion back into this connection so you can start over again my, as soon as you meet the passion will go back on so you'll know it's a twin flame to restart again i think that's what happened the first time and you took it as oh this is a twin flame it's a passionate connection i'm just going to marry this person and settle down it blew up tower right because you weren't on track okay so check out the uh the facebook description box has everything website all that good stuff speak to you later